And I read yesterday in Upade Shamrita with illumination by Sridhar Maharaj. It's a question about first shloka. That it looks for me that it is uh, uh, that Upade Shamrita is an um, instruction for beginners, but the first shloka looks so high. This instruction is so high, so so hard to to follow this. And can you explain this in? in because I feel that I'm not, uh, not fit yet to, to follow this. The macho vegan manasa kruda vegan shloka? Yeah. Well, what's the problem of announcing the goal? You're not fit to follow it. What does that mean? Everybody has to follow it, there's no question. If you don't follow it, you get you get slashed five times. So lashed. Uh -huh. So, but what do you mean, Machu Vega? The tongue, Jiva Vega, Uda Parashta Vega, Mitam Vega, Vega Yogi Shaheta Dira Salama Pimam Petvin Chasisya. It means to either be a good brahmachari or to be a good grihastha. It doesn't say there that you have to be a brahmachari or sannyasi. Right? Or did you read it like that? You read it must be a, grihasa, a brahmachari or sannyasi only? It's not said like this. Is no. It? Because the grihastha has to control his senses also. We are not against Grihastas, we are happy about that. They are our life. Grihastas, they, they take care of our children. That's beautiful. But we know that there's also Grihamedis. And Grihamedi life is very dangerous. Forget about Krishna, only think me, I, me, mine. I know everything. Controlar el genital. Controlar el estómago. To control the belly and the genitals. Yeah. Very easy in Krishna conscious. Just eat prasadam, talk about Krishna, and don't have illicit sex. And that's something people should follow anyway. Because illicit sex is not only to become, like to accept disciples all over the world, like Srila Rupa Goswami says, uh, it is simply for the fact of not putting unwanted children into this world, which would be a great calamity to put unwanted children in this world. Especially for the children, it's very difficult. Everybody thinking, oh, my partner, my partner, my partner. You, you first try to become the partner of Krishna's campaign. And that would be the most successful in your life. Because, you know, even the husbands and wives, they only come by Krishna's grace, you know. I see some couples, they're obviously couples because God made them. They met each other and it is really something, they fit together and they do it nice and they're happy together. The other people, they really try, try, try and they can't find anybody to, to have a couple with. Well, who knows?